Welcome to our tutorial about menus and toolbar controls. First, let's add a status strip to our form. Here's a drop down menu. Let's select Progress Bar and Status Label. When we drag the status strip into a form, the dock property is automatically assigned a bottom value. Now, let's run our application. Resize our window. You see the status strip follows the width of the window. Let's close our application. The next control we've got here is the menu strip. It docks automatically at the top. I can simply type file, for example. And I can keep typing edit, view, so on. If I click on this triangle, however, and select standard items, the menu will be populated for me automatically with the standard window menu options. Much easier, much faster. As you can see, this menu looks just like a regular Windows menu. Another control is the tool strip container. In this area, we dock our tool strip. Let's grab it and dock it on the top. Again, I can select tools from this drop down menu, or I can simply click on the tool strip and select the standard items. Let's test our form again. Now I can drag and dock at the bottom, the left, the right, and so on. As you have seen here, basically, in just a few seconds, using the menus and toolbar controls, we created a window which looks and feels just like a standard Windows application window. And this concludes our tutorial about menu and toolbar controls.